Hi, my name is Peter and I'm an engineer at Bubble. Today we'll be talking about the third of several ways to get your custom domain working on the Cloudflare platform. In this example, you already have a custom domain registered with a company like GoDaddy that does not support alias or a name records. The key to this method is using what is called forwarding, redirecting, or a synthetic record, depending on your registrar. Now, nearly every registrar supports this method, although we do not recommend it for most apps. In this example, your app used to be on myapp.com, but you want to get it working with standard record sets. So we assume that you've already redirected your app to www.myapp.com. What you'll be doing is you'll create a www.myapp.com CNAME record that points to app.bubble.io. That directs to our Cloudflare network. The difference here is that you'll be creating a forward or redirect or synthetic record that actually stays on your registrar that redirects the bare domain myapp.com to www.myapp.com. So what happens here? When the user types myapp.com into their search bar, the computer asks your registrar, in this case GoDaddy, where the name servers are located. They find the name server and they say, where do I find myapp.com? Now, myapp.com is actually hosted on a very small server owned by the registrar. All this server does is redirect. So the user's computer issues a request from myapp.com to this small server, and that server says, go to www.myapp.com, permanent redirect. The user's computer makes another request to the name server, the name server says www.myapp.com can be found at app.bubble.io. So the user's computer follows that to the Cloudflare entry point. Cloudflare forwards the request to a Bubble server. And Bubble says, I can serve up this app on this domain. And it sends the, your app to the user and it appears on their screen. There are several downsides to this approach. First of all, uh, you may lose traffic, especially if you're a legacy customer changing from a bare domain to www. Second, if you issue a request for myapp.com on HTTP, it will get redirected correctly. If you issue a request to myapp.com using SSL, that is HTTPS colon slash slash myapp.com, this server will be unable to offer an SSL certificate that matches the request. So therefore, your users will get this connection is not secure warning. This is especially troublesome when your users have your website already bookmarked, because when you change over, all of their bookmarks are going to show this connection is not secure. Now, if the user types myapp.com without HTTP, the request will get forwarded and served over SSL. If the user types in www.myapp.com, the request will get routed correctly and served over SSL. It's only in the one case where they have a bookmark or their browser automatically tries to send them to HTTPS, myapp.com, that they will have issues. Therefore, we do not recommend this method.